Yes, Gregory Simmons here. Um, on live with Eddie Vision. Please like, share the video. It's a great, great show. Um, happy to be a part of it. Greetings sports fans, welcome back to Edivision TV, the channel where we look at sports differently. I'm your host Eddie Guna and um, another one for you guys today. This time Chris Williams made a very, I don't even know what to say, a very disturbing post on Facebook um, over the weekend and um, you know it's related to local footballers, the state of our football and um the future but before i get into the video i want you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're new if you're not new and still haven't hit that subscribe button please go ahead and do so and always remember to like share and subscribe all right so chris williams post i don't even know where to start but let, let me start by reading it Sai, why are we in such a rush to go World Cup while our track athletes are focused on winning at the Olympics track World Cup I want us to win the World Cup and to do that we need world-class local ballers and to get world-class local ballers they need surfaces at JFF football 75 million dollars could boss with give us vision lest we perish sigh and it was very difficult for me to read this without laughing but boy people i understand that chris williams is a good marketer he wants to develop the local game he wants to develop local ballers because he's that's his aim right now his duty you know as you know the head of the jpl and I understand a little bit where Chris Williams is coming from as it relates to the business standpoint. And I guess, yes, Chris Williams is behind JPL. He wants the best for the league. He wants to develop the league. And he wants the best for local ballers. Because if local ballers are sold, more money comes into the league and to the clubs. But, you know, he's kind of getting a little bit carried away. And we know the love that they have for local football and local players but come on now you know the jamaican public we're not we're not fools you know what i mean we know that we cannot win a world cup with local ballers definitely not at this time and we don't know when you know but all right let's let's take this line by line why are we in such a rush to go World Cup, you know, it's been no much years, no much decades. The last time we've been to the World Cup was 1998, Mr. Williams. So obviously, we want to get back to the the promised land, and we have the best set of players that we've ever had on paper. So hence, the need for us to go to another World Cup is great. So, while our track athletes are focused on winning at Olympics, yes, that's good. Um, we, as Jamaicans, we, we can dominate, especially the track events. We are world class as it relates to that. No questions asked. But when it comes to football, chalk and cheese, we are nowhere near the top of the pile. So, we're, we're still building, you know, so we cannot compare the two. You know what I mean? To go out and win the Olympic gold medal, it's much easier for Jamaica. You know, especially when it's an individual sport. You know, we have the big names, so it's easier for them to go out. Now, as a team now, like Jamaica, to go to a World Cup and win it, it takes a lot. It takes talent. It takes guts. It takes a lot of luck. It takes good coaching. And all of that should be backed by a 
good performing FA. So yes, I agree. I want us to win the World Cup. We all do, but not at this time. That's like a pipe dream. So this is the, the big part, people. And to do that, we need world-class local ballers. And that's even a thing. When last have we produced a world-class local baller? Never. There has never been a baller from Jamaica that is world-class. World-class. We, we tend to throw that, those words in a sentence willy-dilly. No, man. Car work like that. World-class. No, sir. And to get world-class local ballers, they need surfaces. Yes, the surfaces are terrible. We need better surface for our players. But that's not the only thing that will make our players get to that world class level in which Chris Williams wants. The surface alone will not do it. We need the coaching as well, especially at the grassroots level. You know what I mean? We need infrastructure. So, it's not as easy as one, two, three. Mr. Chris Williams. It's not so easy. And, you know, you put a, a value to it, $75 million. That's what they want. And you're implying that that $75 million could, could give us those world-class local ballers, which in turn will help us not to qualify for a World Cup, but to win it. I don't know about people. Help me. Make that makes sense. And again, I want Chris Williams to get that $75 million from JFF to help with the league. Help with the services. You know what I mean? But to, to say that that's all we need you know, to, to get those world-class players and win a World Cup. It's like a fairy tale. Yes, that's part of the job. But we need a whole lot more than just surfaces, Mr. Williams. So fans, let me know what you thought about Chris Williams' comments. You know, local ballers, you know, and that's the thing, you know, people, they're crying for local ballers, local ballers. And then we even see the push for local coaches you know the jff are in the process of cutting down that list and you hear cries in the media you know people want tapper you know especially from other local coaches Tiga davis came out and said look tapper is a man for the job so we always get this push for local coaches to, to coach the national team and now you know we get it in the push that you need, we need world-class local ballers to win the world cup so, you know, we love our homegrown talents, yes. But at times it does, it, it kind of get ridiculous now. So let me know. That was just what I have to, to say, well, you know, that's my reaction on this. Let me know what you guys think about this as well. I'm Eddie Guna. Thanks for watching. Always remember to like, share and subscribe.